Let's take a look at what you'll need in order to propose a strong idea for marketing Mad Rabbit's products and where to look for that information. But before we get started, it's important to note that all of the databases we'll be looking at are available via the links in the C204 Research Guide, which you can find in the Research Help tab of the Canvas site for this course, or by searching the library's website. The guide also has more ways to get help, like a chat box which offers live help, an email address, and a link to schedule a research consultation. We also have a reference desk so you can come to the library located in Spear Room 150 and talk with someone about your research. In the introduction video, we mentioned that you need to clearly define the audience, the message, and the channel, but let's take a closer look at these areas. It's easy to name Mad Rabbit's audience. People who have tattoos. That's a start. But who is the tattoo consumer? What do they care about? Where do they shop? How do we reach them? Market research reports detail the attitudes, opinions, and behaviors of consumers who buy certain kinds of things or engage in particular activities. This can help you tailor and place your message. Unfortunately, we don't have a report like this for the tattooed consumer. So, you need to consider how tattoos intersect with demographic factors like age, income, education, and occupation, and use that information to locate credible market research on the habits, attitudes, product preferences, and media engagement of these groups. To explore the demographics of the tattoo consumer, you can consult the case document, as well as databases like Statista and Ibis World. Let's start here. The case lists some demographics provided by Mad Rabbit for their customer base. In addition to age groups, the case mentions groups like fishermen and surfers. Statista also has information on who gets tattoos and why, as well as demographics like surfers and military. Searching here is very straightforward, so just put terms like tattoo or military age in the search box. However, you might want to limit the results to the U.S. by selecting that under Geographies on the left. Also, pay attention to the source listed to the right of the blue bar charts. These sometimes link out to a separate report from which Statista got the information, and these reports can sometimes provide additional useful information. Ibis World has a report on tattoo artists that contains a market segmentation breakdown by gender and age, be sure to read the descriptions of the segments below the chart. Some discuss psychological factors that may be useful to keep in mind. Speaking of psychological factors, now that we have some idea of the groups who tend to get tattoos, we can do a deeper dive into the preferences and attitudes of those groups. We'll break this down in video 3. See you there!